Welcome to the Adult Take and Make Pipe Cleaner Flowers program. If you registered for this, you should have received a kit that has almost all the materials that you need to complete this craft. You will need to provide your own scissors, ruler, pencil, or something similar, and glue. For this program, I will be using hot glue because it dries faster. Uh, if you did not pick up a kit, don't worry. I will be showing you all the materials that you need to complete this craft. So today I'll be showing you how to make a daffodil, a tulip, and a grape hyacinth. So let's go ahead and get started with our daffodil. So I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side. To make our daffodil, we are going to need three yellow pipe cleaners, one orange pipe cleaner, and one green pipe cleaner. So let's go ahead and start with our petals. So you need to take your three yellow pipe cleaners. You're going to fold them in half to find the midway point. After you've done that, you're going to unfold them into the shape of a star. And you're going to interlock them together by bending them at the center. And this will keep them together. So once you've folded them all at the center, you move them around a little bit, they should look like a six pointed star. So we're gonna start at the end of one and you're going to twist it or roll it tightly together like a snail. So it starts like this and you're gonna do this for each individual one and you're going to roll them tightly all the way to the center. So they look like this. We're gonna do that for each one. Make sure they all go the same way. The important thing to remember here is that you're rolling them tightly. Okay, so once you've got them all rolled into the center, you're going to kind of fiddle with them a little bit and arrange them so that they're overlapping and even. And that's how it's, you're going to get your petals looking petally. You might have to adjust some move them around a bit okay so once they're all even and how you want them we're going to move on to the stem so in order to give my stem a little bit more structure i am going to double or, or fold it in half so pick which side you want to be your top and which side you want to be the bottom of your petals you're going to stick your pipe cleaner through and then make sure that the ends are even pull it through and then I'm just going to twist it again this is to give it more stability so that it'll stick in your pot better because the top is kind of heavy so you're just going to twist that 
all the way to the end. And if you did um, register for a kit, you will have a little pot in there that has some styrofoam in the bottom and then black um, to simulate soil. You certainly don't have to put them in there if you don't want to. You can give them to somebody. You can wrap them around something. I just thought that they looked cute in the pot. Okay, so now we're gonna make the center of our daffodil. Where for this, um, you're going to start that like you started your petal. So you're going to twist in like a tail, but you're only going to do that for a couple rotations. And then you're going to use your pinky finger. You're gonna set the tip of that on the top of your pinky finger. And then you're going to roll this tightly around your pinky finger. Once you've done that, the end of your pinky's covered. You're going to pull it off and then you're going to tightly compress. And here is where you're going to need the glue. So you're gonna put a fairly generous bit of glue on the end of this. I'm using hot glue because I want it to dry quicker. And then you're going to stick that in the center of your daffodil and then press. And that is your finished daffodil. So I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry. And we are going to move on to make our tulip next. So for our tulip, you are going to need five red pipe cleaners and one green one. So I actually want you to set aside your green one for your stem and one of your red pipe cleaners. So to make the petals of your pipe cleaner, you need four red ones, and you're actually going to cut these into thirds. These are 12 inches long, I do believe. So you're going to cut them into four inch sections. So you have your four and you're gonna cut each one into thirds. So that will leave you with 12 little pipe cleaners that look like this. Then you're going to take each of these and then fold them in half. And while you're folding them, you want to line them up in a row. The pointed ends are on top and then the folds are at the bottom. So go ahead and do that for all 12. Okay, so once you have all 12 folded, you're going to take your green pipe cleaner, and again, to give it more stability, I'm gonna fold it in half. And then I'm going to twist it before I start the next step. So this is just a single green pipe cleaner that I folded in half. And you have 12 of these little red ones. And I'm going to place this green one in the center. And then um, I'm going to pick all of them up and kind of bundle them around the green one, making sure that they're all even at the top and that the green one is in the center.
Okay. So they're all even, and my green one's at the center, and you're going to grab your red full one that you still have left, and about three quarters of an inch from the end of this, you're going to start tightly wrapping your red pipe cleaner around your bundle. You wanna go all the way down to the tip to cover the tip of all the cut ones. So it looks like this. And then you're going to fold up your little flower petals. So you're going to fold them up. And then you're gonna like lightly pinch them together. And then you're going to fold the ends in towards the center. And you can make it more of a closed bud if you want or an open bud. But then that is your finished tulip. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that one up here. Now we are going to make a grape hyacinth and this is the easiest one. You are just going to need a purple pipe cleaner and a green pipe cleaner. So let's go ahead and start with this green one. Again, to give it more stability, I'm gonna fold it in half and then twist the green one to the end. And this is to give it more stability if you're gonna stick it in the pot because the tops are a little bit heavy. So once you've done that, you're gonna need something um, skinny like a pencil or a knitting needle or a crochet hook. Um, I am using a screwdriver so I am going to line the tip of the screwdriver with the tip of the pencil and then about two inches down from the top I'm going to start wrapping my purple pipe cleaner around the green pipe cleaner and either the pencil or whatever you're using. You're gonna wrap all the way to the tip and you want to make it narrower the closer you get to the tip, if that makes any sense. Just you wanna mimic the look of a grape hyacinth that's wider down here and then thinner up at the top. Wrap this all the way to the top. And then once you've done that, you're gonna pull out whatever you're using to wrap. And then if this looks too perfect, you can go ahead and bend it. And then there's your grape hyacinth. So today we learned how to make a daffodil, a tulip, and a grape hyacinth. I hope you enjoyed this program.